Hey guys, what's going on? I wanted to talk to you all about the short-term effects of cocaine. All right. Yesterday I told you all about some withdrawal symptoms uh, that you can experience whenever uh, suddenly stopping from cocaine if you use it for a long period of time. We hear the short-term effects of cocaine and what it does right after and within the same day or so. Okay. Um, basically, whenever you do cocaine, snort cocaine, smoke it, whatever, uh, you get a short-lived you know, very intense high, okay? Uh, whenever it's done and your high is over with, you're followed immediately with, you know, a uh, sense of depression, okay? Or edginess, or a very strong urge to go get more and, and snort more, okay? Uh, the people that do this often, they don't, they don't sleep very well, okay? Uh, they also don't eat very much, okay? So that's why a lot of people who are on cocaine are a lot skinnier. Okay, um, what it does, it, it, it can increase your heart rate significantly. You can have muscle spasms, convulsions, your risk for you know a seizure, stroke, a heart attack, or respiratory failure. All that goes through the roof. Okay, your risk, your risk factor for it. So I'm going to run through some of these other short-term effects. I just want y'all to be educated, and know a little bit about it, and what it does in the short term. Okay, guys, because I do you know, give motivation on how to quit and do things like that and how to quit different drugs and substances. But I also like to give you information about it and, you know, to let you know why you should, okay? So, loss of appetite, I mentioned that above. <clears throat> Increased heart rate and blood pressure and body temperature, okay? Uh, so your temperature is going to go up, your blood pressure, if you already got a blood pressure problem, that's bad news, okay? Like I said, it can cause heart attacks, all right? Contracted blood vessels, Increased rate of breathing, okay, because your heart rate's going up, your blood pressure's up, you're going to breathe faster. Uh, dilated pupils is another indicator. Uh, disturbed sleeping patterns, I mentioned that above. Nausea, hyperstimulation, okay. Uh, it's basically sensitivity to a lot of different things. Um, you're more aware, you're alert. And, I mean, yeah, that, that's the reason a lot of people actually like it is because they say they're more alert. Um... Bizarre and erratic and violent behavior is common with people who use it. Hallucinations, irritability, um, intense euphoria, so some real feel-good, you know, feeling at the moment. Uh, anxiety and paranoia, I've seen that before with people who've used it. Uh, depression, now that usually follows after the high, the initial high that you get. Uh, the sense of depression will start to set in, okay? Intense drug cravings, so while you're on it, you're going to want some more. You're going to want another line. You're going to, I mean, I'm not telling you what you personally will want, but I'm just, in general, uh, the cravings are very strong for it. Cocaine is very addictive. Okay, panic and psychosis, convulsion, seizures, sudden death from uh, high doses. Okay, so uh, there's a lot of people that overdose on cocaine. Okay, they just do a little too much. Um, and that's all it takes is one big hit, and that's it. So... Just keep these things in mind, guys. I don't know if you've used or ever used that. Uh, it's dangerous, okay, like a lot of hard drugs are. Uh, it has its effects. It has its, you know, disadvantages. So um, I'm making a lot of videos on how to quit drugs and do things like that. So be sure to go to my channel and subscribe. Also like this video. And if you want any personal advice on how to quit or if you want any more information, I'd be glad to hand that over to you, give that to you. Um, I respond to all my comments. So just let me know down below. All right, so like this video, leave me a comment, and please subscribe to my channel. You can quit today. Thanks for watching, guys.